This is beautiful. What is that, Velvet? Um, but how y'all doing, man? Y'all know who it is. It's the Velvet Waver Martial Arts Game of the Velvet Wave Shinobi with the first official scheduled stream of the year. Classic Black Velvet and color today. To go with the Velvet, though, gaming socks are actual gaming socks today. <laughs> My gaming socks are actually gaming socks today. If you can see on there, they got all little, little uh, different kinds of controllers on there. Got a Game Boy on there. Bonus, game over, all kinds of little, little gaming jargon all over the socks right there. So these are the gaming socks for today. Kick off the first game. Get back in the cold vein. Try my hand at another Souls game. Spam the emotes. Spam the gifts. All that fun stuff. Nothing crazy though. Y'all can make jokes and all that stuff, but nothing malicious. We all entitled to a fun stream out there. And yeah, your boy's gonna try to figure out, hit some buttons, and see if I remember what buttons do. Um, that's what I heard. I heard Big Bertha right here stirring up trouble. Bro, I don't even know what that was. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. See, see, he was sleeping. You just gonna sleep here while I t while I take out your buddy? Let's go this way, because this is where I died last time. Can I sneak up on guys? It seems like the window to get back attacks on this game is a lot smaller than it is on Bloodborne. Could be wrong. Seems like it, though. Right. Oh. You go another big one. Oh, even blocking. All right, sunset hammer. Anything go? Is this a dead end? Huh? There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. And there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. And there's a hole. There's a hole. And there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Or at least a hole in the bottom of the city. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? <laughs> See what I did there, guys? That's a good joke right there. Community is for. Yeah, I, I'm new to Souls games in general, so just getting used to the mechanics of a Souls game has been um, it's been a little chop. I hear some walking. Is it above me? I think it's the one above me. All right. I think I got that chest. Yeah, I got that chest. So we got snipers. We got one, two. We got two snipers. This guy's in trouble. Yeah, they're trouble. Can I lure? Lure? Can I get one of y'all to come around the side? Oh, move, move, move. Ooh. Ooh, don't die. Oh, I died. Oh, I died. Oh, I died. Oh, no, I didn't die. Didn't die. <laughs> there we go. Sunset Bayonet. Sunset Bayonet. Holy crap, it's another one. Okay. Yeah, we can show them how to dance. There we go. Noise. Yeah, getting used to Souls games can be brutal at first. It's absolutely worth the hustle, though. Some of the most. Yeah, I'm learning that, man. I'm having a lot of fun learning them. I think, honestly, the biggest thing is not jumping. I I think that's going to be the hardest thing for me to get used to is not being able to jump. I figured it out in Bloodborne. That's kind of a little jump in there. But this, this game, not having jump. And somebody told me that that's kind of normal. Huh, stressful. <laughs> like, what? We can, we can wield giant freaking mountain-sized swords, but we can't jump? Come on, FromSoft. Come on, man. That's all I'm saying. But I get it. It's a challenge. Nightclaw's not bad. Oh! 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 I just heard footsteps. Oh, and that thing can run? It can run? Oh! Oh! I did not expect this thing to be able to run. Not even a little bit. 
oh, I heard footsteps. And I was like, let me get out the menu. I'm glad I did. I would have been destroyed. <laughs> I would have had my face smashed. <laughs> but I'm definitely I'm definitely playing so I'm like this being the second Souls game I played. I'm definitely looking at myself like why have I waited so long to play a Souls like game? Like even Bloodborne. Like I'm playing Bloodborne like why am I just now playing this game? Why why have I not played a Soul <gasps> Ooh. Sorry about that. Thought I was going to get my face smacked. Don't want to get my face smacked. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like why did it take me so long to play Bloodborne? This game is addictively fun. Can you see me? Is it possible to get the drop on it? Let's go around. If I can get behind it, then... What the heck? What is that? Looks like a tent at Coachella. Alright. More weird stuff. <laughs> More weird stuff. We found the Coachella tent. <laughs> And I feel like there's going to be an enemy in there as soon as I walk up in there. All right. Let's crack the fingers. Pop the neck. I could be absolutely wrong, in which case I just pop my neck. Nope. Nope. Here we go. Something happening. New content. Let go of me. We lost the race. Well, strength succeeds where speed fails. Wait. This place. Bro, what is this? What is this? Whoa. Uh. What the hell? What? Wait a minute. Is that a tail? Bro, what the? What am I looking at? I'm so confused. It's like a dragonfly, fairy. It has no arms. Butterfly of of what? Do I have any stuff? Uh, health stuff? There we go. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should. There we go. Heal up. Heal up. There we go. Cool, I'm glad I backed up. Ah. Okay, that thing moves weird. <laughs> that thing moves weird. You okay? No, I'm not okay. I just got beat by a demonic butterfly thingy. Yeah, an evil butterfly demonic thingy. <laughs> Only played some Souls games already. Got the Souls player ball sense. <laughs> look, look, I'm telling you. Anytime I see my map opens up, I've, I've learned. If the map opens up and you see nothing, boss fight. Like... <laughs> I don't know what the boss is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. It's probably going to be something to freak me out. Because I haven't seen a boss on this game that did not freak me out to some extent. Butterfly Delirium. Absolute troll boss. A poison boss so early into the game. Yeah. Like, they definitely they definitely chose violence. Like, why would you put a poison boss? I mean, I know why. You know, you know, if I was a video game developer and I wanted to make little boys and girls cry, that's what I'd do, too. <laughs> that's what I'd do, too. If I want to make little boys and girls cry, I'd just, you know, throw a poison boss and be like, hey, you know, do your thing. See if you can see if you can beat it. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my give me my give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my give me my give me my stuff. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, don't get close to her. Oh, she can be stunned. She can be stunned. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. I need health. I need health. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Nope. You keep that to yourself. That look like COVID. That look like straight up video game COVID. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Heal. I know you're not going to chase me with that.
Come on. Stick and move. Stick and move. Stick and move. Oh! Oh no! Don't kill me, don't kill me! Oh yes, <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh, that's it, that's it! That's it, right? Yes! <laughs> I, I killed a butterfly! Kill the butterfly. <laughs> yes. I am the monarch destroyer. The destroyers of butters of fly. I don't know you. Where's the you, girl? I'm the Velvet Wave Shinobi, but you can call me the monarch killer. We're taking custody of the girl. Oh, oh, oh. Flash up. Flash up. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Nope, 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 double nope, triple nope, 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 nope. Oh, they're still following me. Nope, 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 nope. Are they still following me? No, they're not. They don't care about me no more. Good, good, good. Yeah, they, they, you know what's another game series that I wish they'd go ahead and remaster and stop playing with my emotions? Can they please, please remaster the NBA Street Games? That is one sports game that I I, I would love for them to, to remaster, man. Like, we don't, look. I'm good on, 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 you know, we got Madden's, we got NBA 2Ks and all that, but what about the extreme sport games of the 90s and early 2000s? You know what I'm saying? Your NBA streets, your two, your, your, uh, your freaking NFL blitzes, like, they don't, they don't do that no more, man, and I miss those games. Like, I wasn't a big sports game player, but if it was one of those, like, extreme sports games, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of those? Oh, man. Hey, yo, I might have asked this question. Is there a sprint in this game? Is there no way to sprint? Or am I, or have I just not been hitting the right buttons? Right, R1. Oh my God, thank you, bro. Oh God. I'm like, there, I'm like, there's no way they made a game without a sprint. Like, there's no way. It's bad enough we can't jump around here, but I can't run neither. Neither? Can't do no running? Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I can't do that. Support from you guys. Shout out to the followers. Shout out to the subs. And yeah, man, we just gonna keep on pushing and grinding it out, having fun. Like I said, every now and again we'll have some uh have some pop-up games here and there. But for the most part, I'm gonna try to stick to a dedicated schedule for my gaming. Um, also, just so you guys are, are reminded, I do pick a color of the day every stream. At the end of the stream, I'll choose somebody randomly from the stream and whatever color they have, that's what I'm gonna go with. As but, of right um, now, yeah, if you want to add yourself, all you gotta do is go in the chat, type exclamation point Q U E, hit the space bar and the word join. You'll be added into a position, and then you just put whatever color strikes your fancy. And uh, yeah, man, if you get picked in my queue, whatever color you had in the chat, that's what I'm going to wear with. So make sure you guys take advantage yeah. of that. YouTube um, videos are going to be working back on them. Going to be working on some more gifts, emotes, other little merches and fun things like that for y'all to enjoy. So look, man, this is 2024, man. This is a year for us to keep on moving, going up, and, and just having fun, man. The whole purpose of this right here is creating an environment for us all to have fun, man, and just relax and chill. Beginning of Shout the year, out to this is the best time to start off strong with your new ventures, new new plans, new ideas. This is the perfect time, you guys, to make your goals become a reality. All it takes is that first step to get anything that you want started. Once you take that first step, it's just going to keep moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. I implore all of you guys to not be a douchebag in public. <laughs> if you want to be a douchebag. Do it in the privacy of your own home and space. Don't don't bring the douchebaggery to the rest of us. We, we need to spread more good vibes and less douche vibes. So make sure y'all spread the good vibes. Don't be a douche in public. Have fun. Be safe. Enjoy life. And as always, same way we end every single stream, you know it is always love, peace, and wave grease here with the Velvet Wave Shinobi. I'm going to check in with you guys tonight as we play some Bloodborne. I want y'all to be safe, and we are out of here. Peace. Oh, and again.